Back in the Birds, it's a Bob Dylan song called My Back Pages. And I start off with it because I'm going to take you through my back pages. It started for me when they gave me a transistor radio. I was 13 years old. For <laughs> generations of kids, from the 30s through the 1950s, listening to the radio was akin to torture. Because you were forced to listen to what your parents wanted you to listen to. And most parents back then didn't like rock and roll. They thought it was uh, some sort of a corrosive force that would destroy their kids. For McGuinn, freedom came when he got the first transistor radio for his 13th birthday, a Regency TR1G. I only had the radio for a short time before I heard Elvis. It was a game changer for me. His 14th birthday present, a guitar. I used to ride my bicycle around Chicago with the transistor radio, and I heard this come over the airwaves. Well, since my baby left, I've found a new place to dwell. Well, if there's anything in the world is free, heartbreak, broken, well, I will be. I'll be so lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely. I'll be so lonely, I could die. I wasn't going to do a full-on full Elvis impersonation, but I really loved Elvis. He was so cool. And he made me want to get a guitar so for my 14th birthday. Uh, I'd heard other songs on the radio like, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? <laughs> and When the Moon Hits Your Eye Like a Big a Pizza Pie. And for some reason, those songs didn't make me want to get a guitar and <laughs> be like Elvis. But he did. So they gave me a guitar for my 14th birthday, and I went down and I got the lyrics of some of the hit songs on the radio, and I got a book of chords, and I taught myself how to play a few songs. I took the guitar to school, and I found something really cool. The girls like me better. <laughs> so I kept on doing it. My music teacher, the lady on the left over there, was in her 20s, and she invited a folk singer named Bob Gibson to come over and play for us, and I really loved what he did. He did something like that. They call me Daddy, Daddy Roller. They call me Daddy Roller. I'm kind of jazzy. And I went running up to her and asked her what kind of music it was. And she said, that's folk music. I said, wow, I didn't. I heard Burl Ives. He didn't sound like that. <laughs> she said, well, if you're really interested, there's a new school in Chicago that just opened up called the Old Town School of Folk Music. Why don't you go over and check it out? So I went over there with my guitar and maybe a little attitude because I taught myself how to play a couple of songs. I thought, what are they going to teach me at this folk school? Well, Frank Hamilton, that's the guy with the banjo, sat me down and he said, uh, you know how to play the circle of fifths? And I, he showed me. He said, no, I didn't know how to do that. He said, well, you know how to play the blues? I said, no, I didn't know how to do that either. I said, well, what about finger picking? Let's see, I, I got a lot to learn. So I started going to the Old Town School of Folk Music a couple of days a week. And I learned about the different folk singers like Pete Seeger and the Weavers, Josh White and Odetta and the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Macon. And what I really was interested in was Hughie Ledbetter because he played a 12 string guitar. The story goes, he was down in Texas and he walked into a pawn shop and he saw this big old 12-string guitar on the wall.